co-founder of a porn site has been jailed in South Korea. Welcome back to another episode of Walk and Talk. I'm your host, Crypto Father. Uh, it's Friday today, and I would like to dedicate all Fridays to the summary of uh, this week's events. I will start off locally and continue nationally. Great news for Shane English School. Uh, we might soon be getting another addition, a second school opening in Ulsan. We have, uh, have been in discussions, so to speak, with uh, a potential investor. And so, uh, of course, things are going to be done the Korean way, which means that things should have been done yesterday. Um, so everything is rush, rush, rush. It came on suddenly, um, but the person's very interested, and I think we might be seeing uh, the opening of a second school after of Shane English in South Korea and Ulsan in particular. After three years of our existence here, it's finally happening and it's a bit of a bit overwhelming to add to everything else that's going on in my life right now. Because that means I gotta scramble to to uh, assemble all the units <laughs> necessary to prepare all the licensing to get all the materials done, uh, bundle it up. Um, so it's gonna be a lot of work the next couple of weeks I guess. Other than that, the week's been progressing pretty normally. The usual stuff, work, home, children. Our Hogwan Startup podcast is something that I look forward to every Monday and David and I, we, we always try to think of new and fun things. I'm still walk, working on how, trying to figure out how to set up a split screen. I would really like to do that and uh, I would like to keep it as, you know, as as investment free as possible uh, but it seems like most of the software that allow you for a very smooth uh, split screen integration on YouTube are paid. Um, some of the free ones require a lot more techy know-how so that's still a work in progress but it's in progress and I think uh, um, <clears throat> there's a few people who are joining us regularly and who are following us um, and who are interested in the topics that we cover and as a matter of fact I talked to to a person who who expressed gratitude for for us being there so that's fantastic thanks a lot you know who you are um, it was very good to hear uh, the words of courage and support especially since the minimalistic battering that we've been getting from a certain places for no apparent reason I don't know but anyway it's good to know that there are people who are actually out there and uh, listening to to us because uh, you know it's when you do stuff even when it's just for yourself really the podcast David and I started it out of on a whim I think um, uh, we both had some ideas and we thought that it might be interesting to to get some conversations going so we did it but uh, knowing that uh, you know um, that others are involved and people are listening makes it a lot more worthwhile so really do appreciate it I personally do and I know David probably does as well um, so yeah thanks for the support and thanks for tuning in and listening to us uh, and I hope uh, that uh, with time we'll develop the podcast and have a lot more fun interesting things to say I hope to add uh, some more engaging material and just m more engaging content for I think I lost a poop bag, Coco's poop bag. Oopsie. I'll get it later. And now to the nationwide news from Korea. Just this morning I read, fantastic news. Um, a co-founder of a porn site, I don't know which one, has been arrested in South Korea. I'm not sure why that's making the news. If you don't like porn, don't watch it. I don't know if it's necessary to make a big deal out of it. It's almost like when you put it on the news, it just receives a lot more attention. Somebody said there's no such thing as bad publicity. And this definitely will bring up ice. People will start searching. Who was that guy? What was the website? Before you know it, you'll have, they'll have a lot more hits than they did uh, prior to having this announcement made. South Korea drops the label enemy in reference to North Korea. Uh, over the past few years, since uh, since um, the president President Moon Jae-in came into power, 
the ties between the north and the south have been have been warming up very very quickly. BBC has described uh, the South Korean president Moon Jae-in as dovish, as opposed to being hawkish. I am more and more certain that North will become the new tourist attraction. It will be the new goldmine for the Koreas once they merge. That's where the tourism will flourish. That's where new businesses will open. That's where people will go to. And uh, South Korea will no longer need to rely on its uh, manufacturing. And with time, oh, check it out. Smart cars in motion. Yoink. <laughs> with time, South Korea will no longer need to rely on its uh, industrial productions and air pollution will be minimized. Along those lines, <clears throat> hydrogenated cars are supposed to hit the streets hardcore in South Korea. Uh, the plan is to have about 80,000 units rolled out by 2022, I believe. So um, this is a step from what BBC reported or was it Korea Times? I don't know, one of those newspapers. Uh, this is a step towards um, opening the doors to uh, to the hydrogenated car industry in South Korea. Uh, so hydrogenated cars are a lot better for the environment, I guess. A lot less pollution because they use uh, partially, they partially run on electricity and partially on, on fuel. Um, I don't know which happens when at which times, but uh, uh, it minimizes pollution, which is great. So in addition uh, to the electric cars, um, hydrogen cars are coming out and I believe that could be a, a slow transition from the fuel powered cars to eventually moving into completely electric run cars. I assume that somebody somewhere in the government struck a deal with all the oil companies who were probably up in arms when they heard that electric cars might be swarming into South Korea and these companies probably struck a deal of some sort that will allow that will allow the oil industry to remain in place while the electric car industry continues to expand. This way, they both win. It's a win-win situation. It's not just one industry coming in and taking over, because, uh, you know, oil is powerful. There's a lot of money tied in. Having all that industry disappear would probably be painful. It would be bad for the investors as well as for the Korean economy, because <clears throat> I found Cocos Poo. The SKs and S-oils form a large part of the workforce here. They provide a lot of jobs and of course they you know, there's a lot more other benefits that come with having large multi-billion dollar companies like that located in any country so but I've always said that uh, Korea is a perfect place for running um, uh, a grid of electric cars because it's small um, there is no need to travel far distances you know people are always concerned with electric cars not being able to travel far but uh, you know, as you look at the example like Tesla cars, they, they can travel far distances and, you know, they reach quite decent speeds. So, Korea being the size that it is, would make a perfect uh, place to enroll the necessary infrastructure that would allow people to use electric cars. In addition, for those if you didn't know, for the time being at least, the South Korean government um, uh, extends grants you can receive a grant of up to like 20 or 30 thousand dollars 20 to 30 million won uh, towards the purchase of an electric car uh, there are federal government grants as well as provincial grants uh, I don't remember the exact numbers but I did look it up on the internet you can apply for both of these grants and if you receive both then yeah you could be looking at a, a discount uh, of anywhere between 20 to 30 thousand dollars so yeah well electric cars are quite expensive uh, if you're looking at a car that costs maybe let's say 40 to 50 thousand dollars if you receive a 10 or 20 thousand dollar discount you're looking you know that's a 50 percent spl price slash for you I say that this is for the time being because I don't know how much longer that's going to continue once the hydrogenic hydrogen cars once hydrogen cars are out in the streets and uh, you know, electric cars are no longer as unique as they are. The grants work on a lottery basis, so you basically have to fill in an application and there's a certain number of people that receive these grants, not for everyone. But if you're lucky enough, 
you'll get in and you'll get yourself 20 grand for free towards your brand new electric cars. car. That's it for today's walk and talk. Please remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next one.